bubble motion in microgravity. Here we have a flask filled with water and bubbles, and we are seeing the bubbles move under the influence of microgravity at about the one and a half to two micro G level as a function of time in this time-lapsed video, where 15 seconds of playtime equals one orbital period of 90 minutes. Here, the station is in X-pop attitude, which is a solar inertial attitude, and look at the motion of the bubbles. They tend to move around in a circle. Now look at local vertical, local horizontal, which is an Earth-oriented attitude. And now look at the resultant motion of the bubbles. They move horizontally, and then they move uh, diagonally toward the right-hand corner. So the motion of the bubbles depends on the station attitude, which affects the direction and magnitude of the residual acceleration at the micro G level. Here we're in local vertical, local horizontal with the flask in a different orientation, plus y in the velocity vector. And now the bubbles predominantly move in the upward direction. So again, what we learn is even at the microgravity level, as a function of time, you can impart significant velocity to particles and the direction depends on the attitude of station.